welcome back to another one of my Sims 4 makeovers where we make over the default families in The Sims 4 with my huge wealth of CC and also my own personal CC style. I'm not saying that this is the best way to make them over. I'm not saying it's in, uh, like, it, it, I guess it's my canon way of making them over, but it's just kind of my own personal preferences. And today we are going to be starting on Oasis Springs. So we've done everybody in Willow Creek. So now we're going to move into Oasis Springs because that was one of the other neighborhoods that came with the base game. I think it was. I don't know. But we've already done the Caliantes here. Um, so I thought we would move on to the land grabs. Now the land grabs also are going to include one more person, not in this family. Um, and we will talk about them in just a moment. But before we get into that, um, you guys raised a really, really good point in the comments of the last makeup I did, which was the Spencer Kim Lewis family, that the CC that I put on Alice Lewis here actually did a real disservice to her original features. And you guys are 100% right. I completely agree with you. This was a massive oversight by me because if I take off her current skin details, now I thought I'd applied these ones, which were the Go Polis Me Skin Tone S1, which is a full body overlay. But what I actually think is later on, I went to here and I applied this skin detail right here. And I was focusing so much on the under eye that I totally missed that what I've done is given a mono lidded skit sim, which is what Alice's original eyes um, eye shape is. And with the skin overlay, there is like a slight hint of um, a double lid there. And I don't want to change that skin feature. I think what I'd plan to do is add an eyelid overlay in the makeup section. But I didn't really like how any of the eyelid overlays look. So I was planning on adding something like this. But I felt like it added like too much emphasis underneath her eyes there. And I kind of feel like this one did the same. So what I'm going to do is instead uh, completely take off that skin detail here. There's one here, which is also by Go Paul's Me, but it, it has the exact same problem. It's going to add the over the eyelid there instead. So what I will do is this one does the exact same thing, but this one allows me to do a really nice skin overlay whilst also choosing what I want to do with that upper eyelid. And with Alice, we do want to keep her mono lidded as per her original design. So thank you guys so much for spotting that and pointing it out. And we've definitely got a more true to her original design, Alice. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And a big thank you for that. And sorry for getting that wrong in the first place. Let's move on to the land grabs here. So they seem like the perfect family, wealthy, well-mannered, brilliant, but Nancy and Jeffrey are each hiding something. Will their secrets tear the family apart or will they continue building a wealthy dynasty? So, dynasty. Pronunciation class strikes again. So what this is referring to is the fact that Nancy is in the criminal career, whereas Jeffrey is a secret agent. So if either of them found out what the other one did, it would kind of lead to the family falling apart or potentially them becoming more powerful than they ever could have imagined. And this kind of like a, you know, sort of strange backstory for them, actually, when I was looking into it, comes from like a deeper land grab law. So let's get into them and we can chit chat a little bit about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Jeffrey here who wants a successful lineage and he is outgoing, good and family orientated. He also has on those good old shorts that you guys know I uh, I shall hate mainly because my dad wears them and we all like to take the mick out of him when he wears them too. So we've got blonde features, we've got the glasses, we've got the heart and we also had a little mustache there. Now as I've said in the past, mustaches is hard for me to like replicate because I don't have any mustache CC. I do, however, I'm not going to change his eyes, but I just wanted to show you guys I have some new eyelid defaults from Gopal's Me, which I'm excited to use for a future sim, but um, I'm going to be keeping uh, Jeffrey's eyes exactly as they were. I will just go ahead and go for a little bit of a different brown. Am I feeling that or do I want to switch out to something entirely different? Okay, I decided to swap him out for the G16s here. Let's put some little dashes on his eyes, just make him look all beautiful and glowy. Highlights, not dashes. <laughs> I think I've got Dasher on the brain because I've been listening to Christmas music while decorating my tree today. Are your guys' Christmas trees up yet? We're actually two weeks behind our usual Christmas schedule. Uh, but are your guys' trees up? Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of feeling some big old fluffy eyebrows on, on Jeffrey. I don't use these much. These are the Remersion eyebrows, but I kind of want to give them a go. So the name Land Grab, you can kind of guess what it means. They like to grab land. They are land owners and they're also old money. So they've been in around, they've been around in Sims since Sims 2 and uh, they've always been an incredibly rich family. What I think is quite cool about the land grabs as well is they also appear in um, Sim City, which if you guys have never played, I've not played in years, but I did play it as a kid. It's like a city managing kind of game. I think uh, James Turner, formerly known as The Sim Supply, plays it on his channel. And they appear in that as well as also as landowners. And they also kind of have this, um, like you have to read, like read about them on the wiki 
because there is a lot to them. Way too much for me to try and like discuss in one video. Well, I'm trying to make them over and talk through my makeover with them too. But basically, they come from very old money. They also have this kind of uh, like lore about them being original founders. There's kind of like a whole colonial reference there. Do I make them more attractive? Do I go for Hotland Grub? I'm always torn when I do these challenges of like, do I keep them close to their original or do I just kind of low key go for, let's keep them close to the original, but make them Sims I'd actually play with. I'm kind of tempted to add a bit of a bit of spice. Like he's a secret agent. Can I try and get a bit of Daniel Craig vibes in there? I don't know. I feel like it could be kind of vibey. I like that one. And yeah, there's also like um, with the previous games, I think it's in Sims 3, some cool stuff that pops up if you get to the top of the criminal or law career that indicates that, you know, they are corrupt. The land grabs are corrupt. So I kind of like that. I think that makes them kind of spicy. And I also definitely like this idea of making them, you know, he's a secret agent agent and she's a criminal. Why don't we make them look a little bit spicier? This is his original design. He is a lead detective. I get that he's meant to look super like suburban dad. So you'd never like, you know, you'd never guess that he was a secret agent, but I don't know. I also feel like this version of suburban dad is like very American vibes where maybe I'll go for like more of a, I don't know. I don't know. Let me, let me have a play with him and see what I feel like. I've gone quite true to form for a few Sims now. So I kind of want to break it up and go a bit wrong. And I think with that, I'm going to do a few appearance changes on him too. I think a bigger, longer nose, a bit of a like stronger brow. And he's already got a pretty nice jawline. I think it was just his nose. I think having it longer and bigger looks better. I'm going to keep his ears because they're cute. All right, let's pop his glasses back on. I always go for gold frames, so I'm going to go for silver this time. Oh, hello, Darcy. Look who's decided to join us. And okay, I think he's a bit spicier. I kind of am missing the mustache. I wish I had good mustache, CC. And I'm on his athletic gear. Oh my gosh, no. Oh. Okay, it's fine because I actually realized I prefer this hair on him anyway. This is like my favorite hair. I use this hair all the time. I just really like this hair. Okay. Is this the mustache he has? Do I want to give him this? No, I don't. <laughs> I like the beard. He looks more refined. I do like scruff, so. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then what kind of clothes? See, I want him. I, I might do. Do I go full James Bond with him? He is a secret agent. Um, No, I think that's a little bit on the nose. But he is like this super, super super rich family that have shady past. Like, I feel like he'd dress a little bit more the part. I don't want to make him look like the goth, but he's old money. I don't want to just give him a check flannel shirt, you know? We can still go for a shirt, but maybe like a little bit more, more... I just don't want to give him a flannel shirt. I don't know. I kind of feel like something like that is a little bit more James Bond, but like dad version. And if we are meant to be a secret agent, I mean, it was never my personal favorite James Bond, but like, you've got to be kind of tough to be a secret agent. You've got to be sort of strong. So I'm going to make him fill, fill his shirt out a little bit more too. I saw someone remake the goths on Reddit and they made the most like daddy Mortimer I've ever seen. In fact, I'm going to have to find it and show you guys. Okay, so somebody made Mortimer Goth look like this. And I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I, I'm I'm not going in enough with this. Look at this version. Like, look at this man. Okay, I realized I need to start spicing my things up a little bit as well. Although I'm also kind of tempted to do this kind of look as well because that's sort of like secret age. Oh man. Too many, too many ideas, too many opportunities that we could take this in. Too many directions. Because this is kind of a vibe as well, you know? It's a bit like a, a bit of a Sherlock-esque sort of energy. I'm there for it. I, I appreciate what he's trying to do. Oh, we can keep the flannel. Okay, this is kind of a vibe. Keeping the flannel, but kind of going for like a shielding sort of look. And then it's like a throwback to his OG style, but just like more ready to do a high, high speed, like skiing chase scene, you know? Like this. See what I mean? I think we gotta. Okay, so we've kind of got like a little bit of like an aviator-esque sort of vibe going on here. I'm gonna chuck a little bit of body hair on him as well just because i don't know i kind of feel like i feel like he does and some detailed hands because it's always very important do you reckon he has any secret tattoo no i don't think he will do i don't think it's smart as a secret agent to have an identifying tattoo <laughs> this kind of went incredibly rogue but i'm sort of there for it it's it's gone quite daniel craig but jeffrey landgraf has gone from you know an assunamin dud um secret agent to the secret agent we knew we always could be 
which was Daniel Craig inspired secret agent. I'm just going to put this out there now. This one is going to be rogue. This entire like makeover, I am just going to go kind of rogue for it. So we move on to Nancy Landgrab. That makeup is really something. So Nancy is the head of the Landgrab family. And in the original Sims 3, she was a, she wanted to become CEO of the business career. And she will do this if you turn on story progression. But in Sims 4, it's a little bit different. She's now in the criminal career as a minor crime lord and has the fabulously wealthy aspiration. And according to an interactive map of San Myshuna, as a young woman, she toyed with the idea of becoming an artist, lived in the arts quarter, and then decided to go down this criminal route, which, as I said, does kind of tie into the background for the land grabs. So I think since we played up to Jeffrey is criminal uh, sorry secret agent energy with nancy i'm gonna play up to the uh criminal vibes she's already kind of dressed in a way that makes me feel like i can just go fully like i don't know i'm kind of thinking maybe like electra king from the world is not enough kind of energy like strong sassy female who is like you know leading this entire cr she's a crime lord she's a freaking crime lord and that is cool I have some new eyebrows i want to try these ones here which are looking okay it's keeping that kind of intenseness but i'm definitely gonna mess with her eyebrow shape because i think it's like it just needs a bit of love i want to go a bit thicker on them and i also just want to like make them still angry but not quite as archy bring them up a little bit widen them a little bit as well and there we go okay that's kind of more what i was thinking we've got green eyes i'm kind of feeling like her eyes are quite big so i'm just gonna shrink them down a little bit one of you guys said in the comments that um the one thing we tend to do when we make human beings like sims is we actually tend to make eyes too big because we spend so much time focusing on eyes so i thought that was kind of an interesting little tidbit and i kind of feel like the way they've made her lips to me looks like she's had lip filler like they kind of go over at the front there i've not seen any other sims that do that but i just thought that was kind of interesting okay let's have a look at some skin details for you so i don't want any that kind of give like this inner look although actually you know what that is kind of a vibe although you do look very very young mm. you've got the ambitious materialistic and snob trait i don't want you to look too young i feel like maybe something like this looks better because she looks a little bit more age appropriate like you know she's got a teenage son and a whole other thing that we'll get into in a moment so i don't want you looking like younger than is possible for like the family you've got although i also want you to look like you are like just because of the lips and stuff maybe like a little bit artificially um hope almost. But then I also still want you to look like one of my sims. So I'm going to still apply the same other details just because I feel like y'all need to look like you're part of a set. I don't want you to look too different. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. However, I do still need you to look a little bit like... Right now, that could be a, like a, someone in their 20s. I do need you to look a bit older. There's no way you'd have forward head wrinkles because you'd be like on that Botox. But these other two, I do kind of want to keep. Just like a little bit like here and here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And your makeup was kind of strong and very blue. Can I keep the blue or do we just reckon we scrap the blue all together? Because the blue is kind of a lot. Could do a little blue. Maybe something like that, like a blue and a brown. Yeah, I think this is good. It also makes her look a little bit more her age. Isn't it funny how makeup sometimes ages you? And then her lips were kind of like lip glossy. Um, So I'm going to keep the gloss. And she kind of had the, the very light gloss before. I think I'm going to go something a bit more like flattering or at least maybe a little bit dark, you know? Okay, maybe something like here let's do a little before and after check in yeah okay i think she's got the essence of her still which is what i wanted don't forget she's married to daniel craig so and then she kind of had just like a blonde bob i did download some new hairs recently Ooh, that that has very okay that's got the kind of energy i'm after this sort of like nancy land grab energy i also downloaded this one which i think works very well too and i downloaded this one Ooh. okay this is good this is like yeah I think that one, that one feels right. I don't know. It has that like LA mom kind of vibe. That, that, I think it's got to be that one. I think like that one just fits her face so well. It's what I would expect her to wear. And then, okay, we want to go for some kind of look that says i'm seriously rich but i'm also kind of corrupted okay we got these kinds of vibes 
I'm like, do I just go like fully like this? Or, I mean, she was wearing something kind of similar to that before. She doesn't feel right. That kind of has I'm an evil crime lady energy to it. A denim two piece or something like that. That could work. Leather, leather dress. Oh, here we go. It's this kind of vibe. It's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We've kind of gone very LA with her. Is that the same? Oh, it was, was it orange she was wearing before? Yeah, white and orange, which I can actually do. No freaking way. Okay, it's the other way around, I think, but still. Same vibe. Like, should we be wearing diamonds on her neck? Yes. And then diamonds in her ears, which you're not actually going to be able to see because of the hair. But please know that they are there. Even, nothing I put on is, is showing, unfortunately. And then she has boots on before. I'm thinking we go for full on over the knee calf kind of vibes boots like this. Uh, what color were they before? I love those boots. Okay, I like this because at least with her, I know with Jeffrey, I've just fully rogued it and I'm just going to stand behind that and commit to it. But I feel like with Nancy, we've kept like, you know, a little bit of her OG vibe. She definitely has really long nails, but we've just kind of changed out. Yeah, we've kept the vibes, kept the fire, but we're burning something new now. And wow. Okay, let me know what you think. So <laughs> we've got before, Nancy before. Honestly, the makeup that came with, with the base game was just like, just so bizarre. Um, And then we've got Nancy afterwards heading up her, uh, criminal empire whilst also trying to keep keep looking young we've definitely got a little bit of work going on here as well and i've tried to make it obvious in her design um so let me know what you think of her in the comments below and let's move on to malcolm so malcolm is an interesting one he has the public enemy dastily um aspiration and he is evil and a snob however in the originals so here is malcolm in the sims 3 where he's a child he actually has the good trait good ambitious and bookworm and he has more in common with his father rather than his snobby businesswoman mum and he doesn't want to become heir of the immense family fortune however in the sims 4 he actually takes more after his mother than his father uh it, sims 4 is not like it doesn't follow on so it's, it's its own universe and he's got the evil trait so he's definitely more like his mum and they actually uploaded a version to him on the gallery where he is like, like i mean look at this the top part and everything he's an elder who works in the business career as an angel in Investor with maxed out charisma and mischief. He has a son named Dudley and a daughter named Mimi. So yeah, he ended up very, like, much more like the mom, I would say. So he's in a legit career, but his mischief is high, which makes me think he's not exactly investing in legitimate business enterprises. So with that in mind, I'm thinking evil, evil blonde boy. We're going to go, we're going to go a little bit Draco Malfoy on him. Is it because I'm currently rewatching all the Harry Potter films and I've only got one left? Maybe so. Maybe it is. Um, but I'm going to take Malfoy as my inspiration for Malcolm. And his eyebrows are like, I'm struggling to get good ones for him. So I'm going to rework his entire eyebrow shape because it's kind of rogue. He's got his mom's eyes, but he's kind of got more of his dad's nose. I'm gonna do what I did to his dad's nose and make it a little bit longer and uh, bigger. And give him more of like a hunter brow. I always think a thin top lip kind of looks like you're pursing your lips a little bit, uh, which then works quite well for like, you want to make him look a little bit evil. I say this as someone who, when I smile, my top lip really disappears. <laughs> I don't want him to look angry. I want him to look like he's suffering from affluenza. Because let's face it, I think everyone in this family is. Okay, let's have a look at some skin details. I kind of want to go for rich kid. And I'm feeling like this Vincent skin here kind of fits the bill. Although the lips on this are a bit weird. Can I change out his lips a bit? He's sort of reminding me more of, um, if you watch Succession, he looks like Roman from Succession more to me than Draco Malfoy right now. Which is still great. Which is still just on the money. So that's, that's good. Although I do kind of low-key love Roman in that show. Okay. Is his head massive? <laughs> I'm looking at him. I'm like, you. your head's huge. Why does your head look so big? I don't know if it's because he's kind of got narrow shoulders. Okay, I still feel like his head looks really big, but let's go for some hair. And um, I kind of, the hair I was originally thinking for him, like the Draco Malfoy vibes hair, I already gave to his dad. So I'm going to have to think of something a little bit different for him. Maybe something like that. Because that kind of works as well. And he doesn't look quite dastly enough. I'm actually going to make him look a bit angrier. A bit more mad. He is meant to be evil. Maybe something like that. A little bit snappy with him. Maybe something like that. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Or maybe I give him like public schoolboy hair. Yeah, 
I think something like that works because he's meant to be rich, like rich, rich. So I think like a thick head of far too much hair works. Things I wish I had. And then I was going to be like, oh, he's evil. So maybe like he gets into fights. I don't know. I was going to give him like a few scars and stuff, but he's like rich, rich. I don't know. I don't feel like, I feel like he wouldn't get his hands dirty kind of energy. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to give him any piercings or anything either. I just don't think it matches this family. And then clothes wise, you're keeping those socks for sure. I'm sort of feeling like this. Like I go yachting. Like, oh yes, on the yacht. I know I do this a lot, but it just so happens that it seems to fit quite a lot of Sims. Or like this as well. This, 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 this. Yes this okay i think that with some sensible trousers those socks are one million percent staying or do i actually do i give you some deck shoes I feel like you would definitely if you've stood on a yacht deck at some point in your life like that is just a hundred percent something that you've done so i feel like you probably own some deck shoes and he was looking kind of soft so i've just switched out the colors a little bit i'm thinking them going with red to match his evil trait um just as like a little nod to it there and i think i'm done with Markham. Let me give you... Do I give you flecks in your eyes or not? Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't want to give you like too much of an innocent look. I feel like the flecks in the eyes usually make Sims look quite pretty and innocent. I don't want to do that with Malcolm. And he's a teenager, so I'm not going to give him facial hair or anything either. And yeah, I think we're all done. So, OG Malcolm. To me, he just doesn't look like an evil Sim. Oh no, he looks a little bit like an evil Sim. But then maybe the best evil Sims don't look like evil Sims. Um, And then updated Malcolm. Definitely looking... Uh, He, he looks very... I'd say private school boy. I think public school boy is like, he go, it's like, yeah, basically he just goes to a really posh school and he probably has like a group of mean boys that beat up on other boys because he's evil and he's a snob. So yeah, he's basically, we've got a little Tory boy here. So that is the Malcolms all done as a little ref refresh. We've got the dad who's good and is also, um, his, the dad's lip lips are annoying me. Sorry, I'm going to fix his lips. Yeah. I like those lips better. Okay, so we've got secret agent dad who is dressed a little bit more like he could just go and immediately save, you know, save somebody for his majesty's secret service. I think so anyway. We've got Nancy Landgrab who I think definitely looks like she could potentially be pulling the reins on an evil crime empire. And we've got Malcolm Landgrab who just, I think, gives off evil energy now. I think fits the bill quite well, but there is another land grab let me just go ahead and exit out of here real quick so i actually had no idea about this um and, but you guys pointed out in the comments below when i was asking which family should i do next when you said land grab you said if you're doing land grab you've got to do johnny zest so johnny zest has a stage name and a dream but maybe not the talent disowned by the land grabs for quitting school johnny wants to make his own frame of fortune as a stand-up comedian so let's go ahead and check him out real quick so it turns out as well he's not the first land grab to be um, disowned. There is also Dudley land grab. They're both disowned by their family and live in a trailer homes with in a sand covered region like Oasis Springs. But the main difference is that Johnny is career ambitious, whereas Dudley is not. And this is Dudley land grab here. He is from the Sims console and uh, the Sims busting out. And here he's looking, the Sims busting out. He managed to have all the fun and buy a ton of fun stuff before his dad cut up his credit cards. So yeah, definitely um, a little bit different to Johnny Zest. And this right here is Johnny Zest. So in comparison to his brother's um, traits, he has goofball, ambitious, and outgoing. And he wants to be a joke star uh, as his ambition. So he looks very, very different. Um, so he, personality wise, he's very, very different to his brother. However, he is still meant to be part of the land grab family. So the same changes that I made to make, um, I want to say Draco Malfoy. It's not Draco Malfoy. Malcolm look like his parents. I'm going to do the same things to Johnny. Although I actually really like Johnny's nose. He's got a very cute nose. So I will keep that, but I'll just make it a little bit longer and bigger uh, to fit his face. And I'm going to give him like little upturned corners on his lips as well, just to kind of like really contrast him with his brother. I'm also going to give him the exact same eyebrows as his brother, but just show how different they can look when they're like happy brows. And he actually already has the brow shape that I ended up giving his brother. I don't know why that's the case, but they've kind of ended up with similar hunter brows and i'll give him the same eye color but i will give him all the flex and cute like little sparkles in his eyes that i didn't give malcolm and i wonder if i can even do the same skin details but still maintain a really different look what i think was this vincent skin right here oh, this is quite fun i like using like the same skin details on sweet sims and seeing like how different i can get them looking and these guys are blonde so I'm, I'm going for blonde eyelashes with them okay he had like the little goatee um i don't love it <laughs> 
So I'm kind of thinking I can keep the essence of the goatee. I mean, I still don't love this beard, but it at least keeps a little bit more like, like Johnny Zest essence, doesn't it? And I kind of feel sad for him because it's it's cool that he's like defied his family and gone into the comedian career, if that's what he wants to do. Uh, but from his bio, it sounds like he's not going to make it because he might have the drive and the ambition, but he doesn't have the talent. So he's got his mother's ambition, but not her talent. I might give him the hair that I didn't give. Um, yeah, let's give him the hair that we didn't give Malcolm. And additionally, it kind of matches his OG hair. Although I do want to give him a hairline just to like soften that appearance at the front a bit and blend it in with his skin a little bit more. Yeah, I like that more. Okay. Oh my gosh, they have the same socks. <laughs> okay, so he's got on like this... Uh, a I don't even know what you, it's like a blue blazer and the trout and the okay now he's a bit older than his brother so I'm gonna give him I didn't give his brother body hair but I am gonna give him a little bit of body hair and I guess with his clothes I want him to seem like he's trying to make it in the comedy career it sounds like he's living in a trailer it's all just a bit of a struggle so I want his clothes to kind of reflect that a little bit like if his bro brother was dressed like very like push school boy then this is more I'm kind of struggling but at least I'm going on my own kind of vibes is that a little bit too on the nose with tears in it? Maybe. Do I go for like rebellious brother? Hmm. Or cozy brother? Maybe so. Okay. I feel like this is the right energy for him. I feel like if you were going to do stand up, you dress kind of casually anyway. So this sort of feels right. And then maybe some trousers with a little tear on them. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I think that's good. I think he looks like, you know, kind of washed up comedian trying real hard. Just it's not really working. And everyone around him could probably. Oh, he's got his dad's ears, by the way. Um, everyone around him knows it, but he He's such a nice guy that nobody wants to tell him. And he has, a, has an eyebrow piercing because of reasons. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So, Johnny Zest. Now, I know he had that kind of like suit look that he had going on before. But when you're like just starting out, like you're not going to be dressed like Jimmy Carr. Because that's like kind of his thing. He always dresses in a suit, but he kind of has that like push voice and that's his humor. Whereas I feel like with Johnny Zest, when you're starting out doing comedy, you kind of dress like very chill, like very relaxed. And like you don't go like, you know, super posh. It is a little bit more like this. Look, look, look. So I feel like this suits the vibe like way more. Like this is kind of more what I'm thinking with him. Like look, look at this as well. Torn jeans, torn jeans, torn jeans. It's clearly a thing. It's a look, okay? It's definitely a stand-up comedian look. And I feel like updated Johnny Zer has it. So let me know what you guys think in uh, the comments below. I also feel like he looks a little bit more now, like very different to his family. Like here, he kind of still looks like he could be part of the like land grabs. Whereas here, he does look like a fully disowned person who's different to them and is just kind of doing it on his own. So let me know what you guys think of the... Um... Sorry, I like doing quite big notes on male sims. Let me know what you guys think of the updated um, Johnny in the comments below. And that is the entire makeover. So we've got new Johnny Zeth. And we also have the complete updated land grabs as well. So which one was your favorite? Which ones did you agree with? Which ones did you not agree with? Let me know in the comments below. And I really like prefer the way I've done things this time. I've tried doing it, keeping it as similar as possible and just adding skin details or kind of going for a, having a bit more fun with it and being like, okay, what would I do them? Like if I was doing them? And I think I'm going to stick to doing them more of the latter because I have more fun remaking them in this way where I have a bit more control and I read the backstory and play it into their design a bit more. I just find this a much more fun way to make Sims. So that is how I'm going to be doing it going forward. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you guys in another episode. Bye!